I kind of took a step back and yeah. I wasn't really around a lot of people and I just had to like rebuild my whole life. Yo, what's good? It's Lil Mosey and this is Billboard News. Yeah, I'm taking off like a rocket. Sticking in out of my pocket. Geek, don't know how I'm walking. Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? I'm Billboard Deputy Director of r and Hip Hop, Carl Lamar, and we're here with Lil Mosey for Billboard News. Been a while, brother, man. We got new music, Flu Game. Taking it back to 97? Yeah, so I called it Flu Game because mm -hmm. Michael Jordan, one of his most iconic games, he played and he had the flu. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the last two years I've been kind of like a sickness and like, Right now, I'm like playing through that flu game. Your hoop knowledge is pretty strong, man. How did you first like even get into Mike? I'm curious. Well, I used to hoop when I was younger, so just looking up to certain uh, basketball players and stuff. He was definitely one of them. Him and LeBron, of course, and Kobe, RIP. Mm -hmm. You know, but yeah, just being around in the hoop world, just looking up to the guys. Flu game. That's the first record you put out in quite some time, man. And you have been going through a lot. You know, you were found not guilty, not guilty, uh, second degree rape earlier this month. Talk about this ordeal, because it's been a two year whole thing for you. How have you mentally been dealing with the whole process? Well, I mean, it's been tough. It's definitely been tough mentally. Like, uh, I kind of just had to like, rebuild my whole life. It sucks, like, to have something like that be attached to my name knowing I didn't do it and like the whole world can see that the jury found me not guilty. It's just tough and I'm grateful for the fans that have been here and all the support they've, they've shown. What was that feeling like getting back on stage, especially at Rolling Loud LA? That's a, that's a big moment to see the fans perform for them, you know, in quite a long time. It was amazing. I haven't performed in front of a crowd that big in years, so just to come back and feel that I was I was shocked when I went up there I was I was shook knowing that you have a two-year window and you're just to yourself your creativity got to be at a high freaking level what like leaps and in, in, in different kind of growth have you seen artistically and creatively in the last two years you creating music well my voice is changing so like just me recording I see myself hitting a bunch of different type of notes notes that when I was like 16 17 yeah. like my voice would crack or whatever. Now, like, I'm a man, so like, mm -hmm. my, I could hit certain notes that I wasn't able to hit, and just the songs I'm creating is just, to me personally, next level. That's my nigga too. I got his back. He got mine. I've been running up with Brody because it's great mine. Along with you know, you dealing with the trial, the case, we went through a fucking pandemic. You know what I'm saying? How were you able to like get your head together? So with the pandemic. It was a crazy time for me, yeah. just everything. I had my biggest song to date, Blueberry Fago. Went top 10. Yeah, yeah. Billboard. Mm, which, Billboard uh, top 10. Went crazy with y'all, but I couldn't do nothing with the song. I couldn't go perform it, I couldn't do anything. So I missed a lot of that. Mm -hmm. And then right as things are going back to normal, more stuff in the way, so. I haven't really been able to perform Blueberry Fago. Wow. Like, Rolling Loud was one of my first times really performing that song. For those who, who have not seen Lil Mosey in the show capacity, what does the Lil Mosey show in 2023 look like or will look like? Next level. Everything I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do, do it big. My shows in the past, we've always uh, wanted to have like a creative aspect to it. So we used to make it snow. Mm. It used to be snowing in the venue. We're still working on, you know, all that, all the yeah. creative stuff around the shows, but it's gonna be big though. Now, being able to sit back, um, from a fan perspective, is there any new artists that you have been able to watch and you're like very intrigued with their talent? Either you want to work with them or you're just a fan of. I'm, of course, Jay Link's my artist that mm -hmm. I signed to Certified Hitmakers. Hey, when I'm down, you gonna need a towel. Cause you know I better eat it sideways. CEO yeah. Mosey right here, okay. 
I signed him back in 2020 and just watching his growth as an artist. It's been fire, it's been crazy. Um, and then I signed another artist, One Way Route. I just got an op on a bass breed, get a nigga but I route the fat heat. Both two amazing artists, and can't wait to see where, where this music takes him. The fact you're 21 and you, you want some CEO shit, that kind of got my mind fucked right now, man. <laughs> how, how have you been like able to get into your CEO bag but still maintain that hunger mentality as an artist? Really, I just love music. Yeah. I want to be a part of everything. I just got back into producing. I've only put out one song that I produced, or two actually, but I want to definitely get back into the producing side. I want to build my label up, build my artists up. I just want to do everything. I want to be full hands on while I'm still being the best artist I could be. Uh, Broski pop a perky, drop some walk and made them tie. I ran me up a lonely ticket, bitch, I'm still inspired. And if you haven't already, guys, make sure you go check out Flu Game, song and video out right now. And new music's on the way. Yes, sir, new music on the way, man. Go watch that Flu Game music video, man. We're going crazy. They told me never stop holding. Yeah, uh.